Hello, everybody. It is me, the Mountie, and here's Shiny. Hey, guys. What's up? Nice to be here. Yeah. Aside from our random quality, because Skype hates us and also likes to sap our CPU usage. Sorry. Like personal experience. Um, today, we're going to be doing the Q&A. So, we got a lot of questions here. We do appreciate you guys sending in your questions, and um, hope the answers will, like, will be good for you guys. So... Let's start off with Meta's question. Anyway, since I've asked Wade a lot of questions, a lot of, I guess those are the invisible versions. Nah, it must be from the live streams. I'll ask Susan. Has Susan played Okami and Sonic Colors? No, I have not played either one of those games. The closest thing I've played to a Sonic game was probably a Sonic Racing game. Big C asks, and since I did it, it's now Susan's turn. Okay, these are all for Wave. Number one, what is your most favorite video game that you like but everyone but everybody hates? Um, for me that would be, hmm, shit, that's a tough one. Well, for me, I like the first Mario and Sonic game. Uh, see, the thing is with me, guys, is that I'm not gonna actively look for games that got negative attention. Those are usually the ones I'll stay the hell away from. Uh. So really about it. Okay, number two. What's your opinion about the Persona games? Well, to be honest, I enjoy the music, but I've never played a single one of them because I sold my PS2 long ago. I have no motivation to get it, and if the PS3 was compatible, I would have bought one by now just to play the Persona series. So, it has great music. I don't really have much else to say about it. Okay. Number three. What's your least favorite video game franchise and why? Uh, since, as I previously said, I'm not going out to look for bad games actively. I guess Guitar Hero, mainly because I never under I never got used to the controls. I always thought it was kind of weird. And, well, I just wasn't a fan of it. So I guess Guitar Hero. And that one's supposedly coming back. That's fun. Number four. JRPGs or WRPGs? Oh, okay. This debate. To be honest, I can see appeal in both genres, so I like both. Okay, and last one. Is Asuka best anime girl? Ah, oh, Asuka. She was so great that she got choked twice. No, she's not the best. Oh, it's pronounced she's Asuka. Her... Oopsies. Asuka was so great, she got choked twice in her own movie. That's intelligence. Okay, MD Chaos asks. This is direct towards Wave, really. Shoot! <laughs> What's the point of the end of Eva video when everyone has ranted on it before? Well, first off, the only two videos I saw on the end of Eva that were ba really bashing it were Hero of Tomorrow or Cartoon Hero and Sage. That's it. A lot of other reviews from, say, Glass Reflections, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, and or other anime reviewers were pretty much praising the movie, and to be honest... I wanted to do a different video. I thought only two people did it. I legitimately did not know people actually did not like this movie. Mm. That was awkward. Number two, has there been any other mech anime that you've seen? I've seen the Gundam series to an extent, mainly Seed and Destiny. I'm excited to see Gundam Unicorn, mainly because I've heard a bunch of good things about that. Of course, I've seen Gurren Lagann. I freaking love that shit. Uh, and that's a really great short anime series for anybody that just likes weird-ass action. Number three, when will video games become good again? I'd say video games are pretty good now if you ignore the microtransactions and plain idiots outside of the community. Number four, have you played Shin Megami Tensei since you play Pokemon? No, I have not played Shin Megami Tensei. I've heard good things about it, but I'm just not interested. Number five, did you know that Ten of Spades committed <laughs> mass genocide by mentioning Asuka? Oh, so when Sailite does it, it's bad, but when Pixie does it, it's okay. <laughs> okay, and I'll see. All right, I'm just joking. I'm just pulling your leg, guys. Next up is Joe Olson. I'm assuming he means the both of us in this case because they didn't bother to specify. Number one, dankest meme. I understood that reference. Um, I have no idea, really. Number two, do you feel fantastic? Sometimes I do. It would really depend on the situation, really. As for me, <laughs> I'd certainly feel more fantastic than the Fantastic Four movie that came out a couple weeks back. Nine percent, damn! Number three, what is your opinion on Quentin Tarantino? Who? I guess that answers that. <laughs> I don't know who that is. 
Um, I haven't seen much of his movies. I've heard it's kind of weird. Like, he makes a lot of weird shit, but... Yeah. Number four, what's your opinion on Adramation or Adramation Productions? Or Adr- no. I don't know uh, what that is. Um, I don't really have a... I have a pretty neutral opinion on Adrian, to be honest. Hunter Banks asks, I have three questions for you and Susan Curia Wick. Awkward. Also, congratulations on being together for three years, you two. It's Technically four, four, but... But still, congrats. But still, thanks, man. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, anyways, here are the questions. Okay, number one. What are your thoughts on the internet show Death Battle? Um, I've never really seen it. And I never... I think I've heard of it from some friends, but never really seen it. Uh, that's for me. I like Death Battle, and I hate the people whining and bitching about the certain results. See anybody in the anime reviewing community, and that shit is starting to sink into their one-minute melees now, because I just saw so many videos about people bitching about the one-minute melee, which, may I remind you, has no research to begin with. It's just a sprite fight between a clearly beginning Naruto versus Luffy, and people are still salty about it. Jesus Christ, moving on. Number two, who is your favorite YouTuber? Um, that's kind of difficult. I like a lot of YouTubers. Um, if you want any recommendations, I can give you a good one. Me and Wave have a friend named um, Telly, aka Andy X Challenge. He makes this amazing, super amazing new show called The Emerald Chronicles. It's basically about his a character who goes to school at a and who's a superhuman and goes to a school, and he has all kinds of all kinds of adventures with him. It's a really good series. It, the first season's almost done. So I would highly recommend it because it's really good. It actually inspired me to write my own story based on that series. Mm-hmm. So I'd highly recommend that. Also, I'd recommend Total Pokemon Island. He's a great YouTuber with an awesome second season of his show. I'd recommend him as well. As for me, usually some of my favorite YouTubers are ones that I'll put in my channel, like, that are in my featured list. Other ones are people I've already subscribed to, or, like, mm. Occasionally, videos that I like are usually from channels that I am a big fan of. The problem with deciding favorite YouTuber is that there's a lot of genres that I like, from... If it's theory-wise, top tens, rants, etc., I can't really pin down my favorites. So, uh, sorry man, I can't really answer that but one. It's all over the place. There's a lot of them I like, but some examples are in my featured list. Except for Logan. <laughs> what is the best and worst anime you've seen? Um, the best anime to me personally would have to be Italia. Not a lot of people can really get into it since the episodes are only like maybe five minutes. But you can get the whole series done, like, you can get a whole season done in maybe less than an hour or two. Um, there's so far been, it's currently working on its sixth season, and there's art, and there's a movie of it. I highly recommend it, if you haven't seen it yet. You can get it done quickly. They have memorable characters, despite the episodes being short. It's a really great anime. As for the worst anime I've seen, um, I haven't really seen anything like that I consider bad. I haven't really seen many animes it's as much as much as Wave here. Um, I've only seen maybe um, three or four in my time. I want to see more. I just gotta get the time to see more anime because I, I, I'm busy and like, I work. <laughs> <laughs> um, as for me, my favorite anime is Probably Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. I know some people who saw the Clown Month were probably thinking of that one, but no. Uh, I still think Full Metal Alchemist is better written. Um, worst... need. <laughs> As for worst anime, I'd have to say it's a three way tie between Inukami, Chaos Head, and Blood Princess. That was crap. Ugh. Such a headache. Okay, moving <clears throat> on to Tree. Trinko101 Pipilip asks. Number one, what anime do you think I should watch? I'm assuming this is for the both of us, because you can specify. Well, I know you've seen a lot of animes, Tree. I know you have seen Natalia, you're a big fan of it. I think you might have seen Oron. If you haven't, you should. Um, and I know you told me you were spoiled with with Black Butler, so, because somebody told you about the whole series. 
even if they did spoil it, I still say you should watch Black, Black Butler. That was one of the first animes I got into. I know it's a little surprising considering that anime is kind of a little um, different from my taste, but it's interesting. If you like old-fashioned um, New England, old-fashioned England style setting, that anime is definitely for you, and it's had uh, demons and all kinds of other things in it. It's an interesting anime. Um, I don't really know what else to recommend, considering you've seen you've, you've seen a quite a number of anime trees. Okay, I got a couple then, uh, just to be random. One one of them is Clawnod, and another one is an anime called Tokyo Ghoul, or Berserk. Mm. I think I she think... would like Tokyo Ghoul. That would be interesting. Yeah. yeah, just to see her reaction to some of the crazy shit. Number two, if you could have the power to change the past or see the future, what would you pick and why? Hmm, probably see the future, because I want to know, like, what happens to me and way back in the future like are we still uh, together are we are we still dating by then have we finally met um what's it like for us together what has changed for us i kind of want to see the future yeah it would be interesting um as for me i'd say the idea of seeing the past changing the past would just be stupid because well, I'm kind of one of those people that believes in a multiverse idea where if you make a change in one timeline, it just creates two universes. Um, <clears throat> I'd rather see the future because, well, what's really the harm in that? Um, aside from technically changing, but this is kind of a trick question because if you go to see the future, you're kind of altering the past a bit by seeing the future. Ugh. Time paradox. <laughs> I guess see the future. And third question, this one's more to me. My friend wants to become a countdown maker. Any tips for him? Um, well, if he likes a topic, then talk about it, and we'll script your shit, and revise. That's really all I got here for now. Number four, do you think I should do a QA? and I'd say so, I'm assuming this is straight towards me, because you weren't specific. Ah, uh, this is awkward. Um, <clears throat> I guess? I'd say so. Yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I think you should. If you want to do a Q&A, go for it. I did one, and Dave's doing. Dave's did one. We're both doing one right now. Uh, number five. Thank you both for being good friends to me. What is your definition of a friend? Well, thank you for saying we've been good friends to you, Tree. Mm -hmm. Definition for me to a friend is someone that you can put your trust into and know that they won't stab you in the back, and they're always there for you when you need them, and they're very nice to you when you you open up more when you're around them. Dave here is an example. Even though he, even he's my boyfriend, he's still one of my, he's still my best. He's both my boyfriend and my best friend. My definition of a friend is like this: acquaintances are those that you talk, that you like share one line dialogue with. Friends are those that you'd be willing to sacrifice something for just to keep your friendship. So, to me, it, the definition Aww. of a friend is someone who'd be willing to make some sacrifices. Um, so that takes care of all the questions on treason. Okay, two way or Mountie. Number one. Have you seen my commentary on my Pokemon English dub rant? Because that rant video is bad. I did see the commentary. I thought it was okay. Uh, nothing really much about it. I mean, not really much bad about it, but I wasn't exactly inter like entertained either. It wasn't bad, though. I... I guess that's what I'll say. Number two, what should I do a rant on for commentary? To be honest, I have uh, no idea. Because even I have difficulties finding commentary material. I mean, I always, I mean, I could just go stalk TP's Twitter or ask a fam to find something, but nah, that'd be stupid. Number three, what are your thoughts on the Amazing Spider Man movies? Because you did that commentary on that, uh. Nostalgia Tart. I'll say it. Thanks. Um. To be honest, I've only seen the first one. I'm assuming the second one is so bad that Netflix won't even accept it. Which is kind of saying something, considering all the shit they have there every now and again. The first one was alright. I'm not exactly interested in the idea of Spider-Man, and the Amazing Spider-Man wasn't exactly all that interesting, but it wasn't the worst I've seen. So it was alright. And no, I have not seen the Sam Raimi trilogy. Just not interested. Number four, which animes are you, 
Are you gonna going to plan on washing after you're done with Code Geass? Um, the thing is with Code Geass is that I canceled the reactions because of Bandai being a bitch, but um, currently I'm watching Bleach on Netflix. After that, since I they only have the first three seasons on there, logic. I have no idea. Number five. This is a question on what I asked since since your Clonog countdown. Yeah, bad grammar. Why don't you like watching sports, and what is your thoughts on sports? The thing is with me is that I'm more is that when it comes to sports, I'd rather play the damn sport than watch people play it, especially with a bunch of nobodies that I don't give a crap about. I mean, unless I put something into a betting pool or like I bet somebody, then I'm not going to watch a damn game about people playing a game I could easily just play outside. As for my thoughts on sports, like I like it, I don't mm. have an issue with it. And uh, yeah. Okay, last question. And sounds kind of ridiculous. Do you even lift, bro? <laughs> nope. And now it's time for Jack, who asked 15 questions. For both of you, one, have either of you played Smash 4? No. I have played the 3DS version. I'm not interested in the Wii U version because, frankly, I'm not going to spend 230 bucks on a damn console and have a and play it for one game. It's stupid. Number two, do any of you do either of you have any amiibos? I don't have any amiibos because what would be the point of me having them since I don't play Smash? It would just be just like a regular Pokemon figure, like a regular figure just sitting on your dresser. If I were to have one, it would probably be a Lucario amiibo, <laughs> but I don't have one. I don't have for any. Me, I, for me, I own a Palutena amiibo. Um, it's still in the box, and I just have it hanging up on the ceiling because I have no, because again, I have no reason to. And the only other console that I could use it for is the new 3DS, which, let's face facts, is a goddamn failure in terms of a new console, and it only has one game exclusive for it, and it's a port of a Wii game that you could have bought four copies with, since it's like a hundred bucks on eBay. Number three, what is your greatest memory with Pokemon? That's kind of an interesting question. Um. Hmm. Probably one of my most fond memories of Pokemon was probably Pokemon related. When I went to New York City and I went to Nintendo World Store for the first time, there were so many Pokemon plushies there. I was so excited just to like be there and see all that merchandise. I just wanted to grab every single plush that I saw that I didn't have. One to buy is I wanted to buy all of them, but I couldn't. I only bought four. But, um, yeah, that was, um, but Pokemon-wise, I mean, I've been a fan since I was little. I mean, I've enjoyed the video games, I collected the trading cards, I collect plushies of them for crying out loud, I have so many of them. <laughs> In fact, I actually have my Flareon plushie on me. <laughs> um, yeah, Pokemon's just been a really big part of my life. I don't know where I would be without Pokemon. So yeah, I have a lot to be thankful for with Pokemon. That's good. <clears throat> um, as for me, I don't exactly have a great memory with Pokemon. I just enjoy playing the games. Mainly because I don't think Pokemon has affected my life all that much. I mean, yeah, I talk about it a lot, but that's because it's a franchise I do enjoy playing. But it's not something I'm going to have the most memories with. Number four, have either of you seen Avengers Age of Ultron? I have not, but my parents have. I've never, I never really got into the Avengers, so... I think I have seen Avengers movie, but I don't remember which one it was. I have not seen the whole thing, though. I didn't really pay any attention to it, so I just knew it was Avengers. All I remember is that they were fighting Loki. Wh what movie was that? Do you know? That that would be the first one. Uh, I saw that. Age of Ultron I have not seen. As for me, I have seen it. Not seen. <laughs> <laughs> not nah, trolling. Um, no, I have not seen Age of Ultron, and I might see it if it comes out on Netflix or DVD. No, nah, I'm just kidding. Uh, I might see it if it comes out on Netflix, if Netflix actually puts the damn thing on there. But, no, I have not seen the movies yet. At number five, have, are either of you excited for Star Wars The Force Awakens? No, I'm not really in Star Wars. For me, I haven't even seen it. I haven't seen a single damn movie from Star Wars, and I'm not interested. It's like me. It's like trying to get me to watch Star Trek. It's it's not happening. So now we move on to the questions from me, since it's like one gigantic wave of questions uh, for me. One: Have you ever played Dustin Elysian Tale? If so, what'd you think of it? 
yes, I have played Dustin Legion Tale thanks to Games with Gold, and I think it was a pretty good game, and now it's kind of weird to talk about it because now almost everybody in the damn countdown community knows about it. Uh, but yes, I have played it. Number two, are you excited for the upcoming Deadpool movie? After the shit first that was a Fantastic Four and some of the X-Men movies, yes, I am actually excited for it. Number three, thoughts on the Ratchet and Clank series. I've only played Going Commando, haven't played the rest of the series, nor do I have any motivation to. Number four, thoughts on Sly Cooper. Never played it, looked boring, not interested. Number five, are you excited for Star Fox Zero? Uh, honestly, no. I'm kind of hesitant about purchasing the game, mainly because, well, last year it was announced somewhat unofficially because it took place after E3. And, well, that's kind of the tricky thing with this, is that a game like that shouldn't be coming out a year after. Maybe the year after that, 2016. But the fact it's coming out in November 2015, I am very hesitant, and I will not be surprised if it actually receives mediocre reception. I don't know. I don't own a Wii U. I won't find out for certain, so I'm not really excited. Especially since my last Star Fox game was Command. Yeah. Never again. Okay, now we'll move on to Susan's questions. Number one, if you had the chance to make your own Pokemon game, what would it be like? Well, I'd probably have the graphics of the current Pokemon games, like the 3D graphics. I would re-add trainer customization. I would have it where you could pick any starter from any generation you wanted. You could be able to catch all the legendaries, including the ones that are like from events, like Meloletta or Kelio. Um, I would also add that you can be able to have, maybe have, like, your your uh, trainer look like your Miis, and you can have, like, your your rivals, they can be, like, another me that you have as a friend, and they can be, like, your traveling buddy, or, like, your rival that you can battle with. Um, how about that? Number two, have you ever played the following games? Fire Emblem Awakening, or L Fire Emblem Awakening, Kid Icarus Uprising, Kirby Triple Deluxe, or Monster Hunter 4 Ultimate? No, 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 and no. Number three, thoughts on the following Pokemon movies? Spell of the Unknown, Rise of Darkrai, and Giratina and the Sky Warrior. Uh, Spell of the Unknown was okay. Rise of Darkrai, also okay. Uh, Sky Warrior... It was so okay as well. I mean, I like Shaman in that movie. It's so kawaii. Um, um, out of the three, um, I'd have to say Giratina Sky Warrior was better out of, out of the three. But that's just me. Nothing, but nothing will ever top the Kario and the Miss Me of you. Hey, it could be worse. It could be Deontay's movie. <laughs> I can't finish that with a straight face. Oh, gosh. <laughs> <laughs> Number four, what would be your reaction if Del Caddy ever got a Mega Evolution? It's about time, Nintendo. And you better not make the Mega Evolution ugly. Quick, make it evolve Don't into Broly. Don't cry if Del Caddy looks ugly in a Mega Evolution. What's that? Make it evolve Don't into Broly. Don't cry if Del Caddy's Mega <laughs> 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 uh, Final question from Jack. What is your favorite starter Pokemon? Um, that's a tricky question. Mm -hmm. So I have to go back to what I played in my games. Let's see. Gen 1 was Bulbasaur, Gen 2, Cinequil, Gen 3, Trico, Gen 4, Turtwig, Gen 5, Tepig, Gen 6, Gen 6, Spinnekin. Um, I mean, Spinnekin and Trico. Spinnekin because, well, Spinnekin is so cute. Not cute. Gilei and Trico because it brings back a lot of uh, nostalgia because I believe Emerald was the first Pokemon game that I owned and Trico was the starter I picked, so I'm going to have to say back in and Trico. No, there will still be a piece of my heart for my others, for the other stars I've picked throughout the games. Alright. <clears throat> Next up is Speedy Septile 01. Hopefully this question is not too... Okay, I'm not going to do that. Hopefully this question is not too personal. How did you guys meet? Uh, basically, the two of us met around 2009, 2010, when I was doing another, when I was doing a series on my Wave 3436 account, and Susan asked me to if she, I could ha put her character Susan Delcaddy on one of my after shows. 
Um, after that, we became friends. Um, and, uh, yeah, things were good for, like, a bit. Uh, aside from a certain incident with Mystery of Society 5, not gonna get into that. After that, um, we became a thing around the time, after Ask Wave Episode 2, which, yeah, I know it's kind of weird considering the title, like, wait, there was an Ask Wave? Yes, there was an Ask Wave back when I had Wave 3436. Now it's Curia Wave, because, well, the account. Anyway, um, after I received a question from one of the users, I, well, yeah, it was after that that uh, the two of us started well, going on in the long-distance relationship, because we still haven't met physically, which I think might have answered a question later on, but we'll get to that when we get to it. Yeah. And, um, yeah, we've been together for four years now. Actually, today is the four-year anniversary, isn't it? Well, I, we're at the time this. of recording. Yeah, when we're recording it, because I don't know when I'm going to get to editing this. That'll be fun. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, all right. That's from my perspective. Uh, Susan? Well, I actually discovered Wave um, when he was doing Total Pokemon World with the music. That was his um, fourth season, I believe. Yep, that would be the fourth one. Fourth season, because it had Nikki and Ortiz Sakario on it, I was curious about his. I was just really. Oh, wow, his Sakario was on here. I guess I'll watch and see what, what goes on from there, and I started watching the rest of the series, and then I asked Wave, hey, can I, can my channel Caddy be on, like, your show as a cameo? And he's like, sure. And he did that for me, and that was really nice of him. Um, later down the line, we started becoming, started talking more, and then we just started becoming friends, and it's been really great. Um, like Wave said earlier, we, we were just really considered friends for a long while. I didn't really think of him as, a, like, a anything closer than a friend at first. It wasn't until the Ask Wave session that happened, when he got that question, and then how he reacted to it. That actually did surprise me, because I had no idea he thought of me that way. I really had no idea he thought of me that way at all. Seriously, I've had trouble with love in the past. Um, so, about a day or two, about the day after that, I messaged him. Well, he, I think he messaged me, or... Did you message me first, or did I? I think you did, but, uh, yeah. Basically, he was like, all, I'm sorry you had to hear all that, and I'm like, is this a true feeling? And you replied, yes. So I was like, okay, I'll, I'll give you a chance to see how this turns out. Can I be your girlfriend? And what did you say? I said yes. And things went on from there. Mm -hmm. Though it was hard for my parents to accept at first, they thought Wave was a different from what from what they they thought Wave was a different person, but he's not. I know he's not. So yeah, um, it's been an interesting four years. <laughs> well, so yeah, we we're we're still together, and our bonds couldn't be stronger than it is now. Mm -hmm. Even though we're so far apart, our bond is strong. <laughs> mm -hmm. Question number two. When do you think the last episode of Total Pokemon Music will be? I have written the last episode, I have no idea. They will be re Basically, I'm not going to try and sound like a jackass for this, because like, I understand why. Basically, the episode will be released when it is done. I guess that's probably the best way to put it. Because these are not set on a schedule like Telly's videos were before he like flipped out after the stress, like, I could just imagine him in his own, like, f raging, like, ah! <laughs> uh, like that uh, guy from Inside Out. <laughs> uh, I still have to see that movie. Anyway. Uh, but basically, but basically, the episode will be done when it is done. Number three, and this is to Susan. Mm -hmm. What would be, what would be your favorite Pokemon aside from Skitty slash Delcaddy? My favorite Pokemon besides Skitty and Delcaddy is Lucario and Meloetta. Lucario because, well, Lucario movie, and I always have Lucario on my team when, when up from Gen 4 to Gen 6 and up to Alpha Sapphire, I've always had a Lucario on my team. I'm never without one, because Lucarios are awesome. Mm -hmm. And Meloetta because I like her anime rules, 
And when I when the event came out, I wanted to get her so badly. And when I did get her, I was like, oh my gosh, I finally have one of the legendary I've wanted for so long. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, uh, all right. Nicholas Richards asked, I just have one question. What anime do you guys recommend? I kind of said this. I kind of said this earlier with Tree's question. I highly recommend Italia because it's a short anime. It's a the episodes are short. You can get you can get most of the series done in less probably less than a week, considering how short the episodes are. Um, I recommend it. I also would recommend I recommend Black Butler because if you like old English style, it's definitely for you. Uh, for me, I'd recommend Brotherhood, because I think that one is one of the better written animes in the last several years. Or it could be worse, it could be free! <laughs> I can't. It's like... Yeah. Italia! Italia! It's like free, but with countries! <laughs> I have one more anime to recommend, but I don't know if you want to see it, uh, Nicholas. Uh, it's more of a an anime for girls or on the high school host club. It's not really something I'd recommend for a guy, but if you want to see it, up to you. <laughs> Next up is I am. I'm not saying the username because it kind of comes off as racist. Asks both of you, how excited are you for the FNAF movie? Excuse me while I go a little high under a blanket. Not excited because I saw a FNAF movie, the Cold Storage one, and it sucked balls. So I'm not excited for this. Wave asks, can jet fuel melt steel beams? No, but I'm pretty sure Broly can. Hey, He's Zora. Yeah. <laughs> hey, be lucky I didn't say the name. And Susan, what is your opinion on skis and waylords being able to make? I can't believe that's a thing. I hmm. haven't seen that meme so. I haven't seen that so much around the internet. And honestly, I have no comment. I have no comment. Yeah. Okay, let's move on to Double D then. Nat Durant asks... Oh, right, I forgot Susan was... Nat Durant! Yes, and I just realized I've been hogging yeah, the can... questions for a bit. Sorry about that. Go ahead, Susan. You asked this one. Okay, uh, this is for both of us, okay? So, all right. Question number one. What character from Total Pokemon Amazon do you like the most? Um, uh, me personally, um, it would have to be either Meganium or Gothitelle. They're both interesting, and, um, I do sh um, Superior was okay as well for most of the series after she started opening up more to Gothitelle. Um, and by the way, I ship Gothitelle and Superior, and I ship Meganium and Zelta. <laughs> yes, and now that couple's canon because of their kids. Wait. Uh, sorry. Uh, for me, it'd be all of them because I created them for a reason. <laughs> I don't really have a favorite out of all of them. Okay, uh, number two. Okay, number two. What character from Total Pokemon music do you like the most? Uh, me right now would have to be... Um... It'd have to be Delcaddy because he's Interesting because he's one of the first on TBI to be a male doll caddy, one of the first to be a mute character. He's also very strategic, I must say. No, oh, I don't know how far he, I know he might get far. Heck, he might make final three or final two. I don't really know. Wade doesn't tell me these things. <laughs> Why would I? It spoiled the fun. Uh, okay, um, as I said before, I like all these characters, so I don't really have a favorite. Okay, uh, number three. Um, I'm guessing favorite Guilty Pleasure song slash artist, uh, song slash artist that doesn't fit with your usual genre of music. Mm -hmm. I'm guessing he's asking our favorite of that? Yeah. Um, I don't really know, really. I listen to a lot of things, really. My main genre is, um, okay, maybe, I think I got something, maybe occasionally, every once in a while, I'll listen to a certain K-pop song, do K-pop, um, not all, not a lot, though, um, every once in a while, I'll listen to a K-pop song, um, 
One's from Orange Caramel, another one's from Girls' Generation. Yeah. And I listen to a lot of Japanese music every once in a while. And some Italian songs. <laughs> okay. For me, it'd be Cotton Eye Joe. I'm not exactly the biggest fan of country, so... Yeah. Okay, so um, next up would be Ben Huckle, 13. Okay, number one. Favorite childhood game? Um... I played a lot of games in my childhood. A lot of the games were, like, from Among Us Entertainment, like Pajama Sam and Spy Fox and Pup Pot. Uh, I think those are my favorites. I don't... Oh! Uh, Barbie Pet Barbie Pet Rescue. I never I didn't get the game till much the game till much later, but when I went to my cousins I always liked playing it because it was so fun to help all these animals. It was, it was a really fun game to play. I still have it, but I can't really play it as much as I used to. Can't really play it on my computer anymore because it's an older game. So yeah, Barbie Pet yeah. Rescue definitely a childhood memory right there. Okay. Uh, for me, it would be this uh, Wile E. Coyote game on the Genesis, because back then, I, like my grandma or whatever relation, regardless, um, owned a Genesis, and well, like, a, like a dipshit, I would uh, pretend to be sick just to play that. Um, <clears throat> I guess another one is that I recall me and my sister um, getting some games out of cereal boxes. Yes, back then, uh, you could get CD games out of a cereal box. Um, I remember the two of us playing a couple of Freddy, Fi that. couple of the Freddy Fish games. Um, I didn't really play much of the Humongous Entertainment series oh, yeah, aside from too. Freddy Fish, which is why I laughed my ass off when I saw uh, Fun. What was his name? Is whatever his name was. Uh, he was a guy cut Icarus. I'll put up his name like post production. Uh. Which is why I enjoyed that guy's review of the first game, because it was like, oh, I remember that, and yeah, that's kind of funny. So, uh, yeah. Favorite childhood cartoon? Um, that would happen to be, like, um, shows from PBS Kids and, um, the old Dick Jr. and Cartoon Network. And, um, I guess in a way Pokemon was around, so I think I was about... About ten when I got in when I first saw the Pokemon uh, cartoons, I think because this memory is really easy. So yeah. For me, it would be either Pokemon or Cyberspace or Cyber Chase, whatever. Yeah, looking back at that show nowadays, that freaky, that freaky goddamn CGI. So I guess I'd say either of those. Uh, Red Epic Absol asks, I have two questions for the both of you. One, what characters that you think is you from an anime or cartoon? So I guess, what character do you think do we think reflects ourselves in an anime? It's kind of hard to describe it. Um, I'm not really sure. Maybe, um, maybe May from maybe May because well, she likes contests and I like Pokemon contests. Heck, that's why I'm called a shiny coordinator. <laughs> I see myself more as May. Okay. For me, any avatar that I've used for Midnight Anubis, except for Black Cat, need to clarify that, I think um, would be a fitting avatar. So as of right now, in my current rotation, that would be Nightwing, Dino Charge Gold, or Kiryu Gold, whatever, whichever one you want to follow for anybody that is watching this. Um, <clears throat> sorry. What was the third one? Oh yeah, Tomoya. I almost forgot about that one. And whatever is in my fourth rotation, because I keep changing that every so often. So I'd say those three would be well examples, I guess, in that case. Number two, how is it, I'm assuming, how is it to make videos? I'm assuming that's, like, what they meant, like, how hard is it to make videos, or how is it to make videos? Like, what's the feeling? Hmm. I, I don't know. Um, well, making videos is not here. It's, it's interesting. I mean... I don't upload as much as I used to because I'm so busy with life. Um, but when I do upload, it would it would either just be something that I that I videotape like randomly, or it would be my um my total Pokemon Island series, or it would be something else, something Pokemon related or Italian related, whatever. 
Um, but it's interesting, it is, and it's fun. I like seeing when people get to enjoy my work. That's even good. if I don't make it as much. Uh, for me, it's an okay feeling. I don't exactly, uh... What the hell? Sorry, I'm on DeviantArt. Uh, for me, I don't really have much of a feeling with it. It's just like a, well, you know, a day at the job. Even though this is not really a job, I still make some money off of it. It's kind of like that feeling. Like I know I don't, I don't exactly <clears throat> feel well making this sometimes, but I gotta do it just because to get the thing out. It's like an average feeling, I guess. It's like kind of how I, it's like, it's like how I have to deal with work every day. I mean, I get up early, go to work, come home at the end of the day. But like, when you get that paycheck, it's like, yes, money. <laughs> That's that kind of feeling. Yeah. Okay. The Young Link Society asks, where do you see yourselves in 10 years? So, what, do we get to, like, throw a... Uh, like ocarina of time in there or something like i don't know uh okay i guess this was directed to both of us so i'm not 100 percent sure really um maybe in the future i'll figure out a way how to set up maybe by this by those years maybe i'll have learned more japanese and can actually speak it better and maybe about that time let's see um 10 years, so I'm 20, so we'd be about 30, right? Yeah, 31 to be exact, but go on. I think me, yeah, I, well, yeah, I think me and Wade would have met by then. Yeah. Probably. Um, and we probably, well, I, I don't know if I would be living in Canada, or, I don't know if I would be living in Canada with him, or, um, if we'd even still be together after a little year, I mean, great, and I'm happy we're together. It's just the distance between us is really hard. Mm -hmm. Um, so, um, me and we, we might be living together, um, by then. Um, I would probably, maybe I would, maybe, um, I would have a career in something. I'm not sure what though. <laughs> um, I know I really want to perfect my Japanese. Maybe I'll be a Japanese teacher at a local college or something. <laughs> um, go ahead. Okay. Uh, for me, I don't. I don't really know. I guess doing the career that I've been going to college for. But uh, aside from that, nothing really else. I guess like if me and Susan are together, we probably have met by then. Aside from that, I can't really think of much. Problem is, thinking about the future like that is kind of like jinxing it. Like, it probably won't happen, so... Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. Like, the way I look at it is... You won't know until it happens. With a case yeah. like this, anyway. So, uh, yeah. Aqua Oracle asks... Hopefully this isn't too personal or something, but have the two of you met in real life? How was it if you did, and if you haven't, do you plan on it eventually? Um, to answer your question, Aqua, no. Even though we, we've been together for almost for four years, we still haven't met in the life yet. The problem with that is that we both don't really have the time or the money or the needed things that we need. Because either way, one of us would have to travel across the border to get to the other person's said location. So we would need passports, and... Plus, I'm busy with work, Wade's busy with college, and money is tight for both of us right now. We just don't really have what we need to meet, meet right now. Um, it sucks, I know, but when we do meet, it'll all be worth it. I know it will be. Even if it takes us another couple years, we will meet. We promised each other we would. Right, mm -hmm. Yeah, of course. To be honest... Uh, well, yeah, I mean, it's like you said. The two of us have not met in real life yet, but that's because there are a bunch of stuff that have gotten in our way. So, um, um yeah. Well, if we, well, do we plan on doing it eventually? We will, but when? We don't know. We just have to, well, 
I think it'll be probably some after we graduate college, but I want to be there when. But I really want to go up to him, and go and see him when he graduates. But I don't know if that's gonna happen. But I want it to happen because it's a big moment for him, and I want to be there for him when, he, when that moment hits. But yeah, to answer your question, Aqua. No, we haven't met in real life yet. We we want to do it soon, but when we don't know. <laughs> And the last set of questions come from Michael545. Albeit he sent it after the deadline, but we'll count it anyway. So this is a question for the both of us. Number one, favorite memory. Favorite memory probably has to be, well, all the, any of the fun things I did with Wade. Like, when we would talk, when we would watch a movie together, um... All the times that he was with me when I was down, and I was there when he was down. Um, and also, the first time when I went to New York City, and, uh, and, well, I went to New York twice, and, um, when I got to go to Washington, D.C. for a couple days. Um, and probably getting to meet, um, my little friend Aiden. Who is some of you have not seen the Slave series? Ian Reed Nicholas is actually based off of a little boy I met in real life when I was a freshman in high school over the summer. He was like the cutest thing ever. He would always be by my side. And I enjoyed spending the time with him. Sadly, though, I never got to say goodbye to him after the camp was over because he left like the last week of the camp. So I haven't seen my little buddy since, but he's really inspired me to help. He's really an insp He's like. He's been with me so long, and he even inspired me to jump off the diving board for the first time, and couldn't be there with me when I was with him, but he was so proud of me when he heard that I did it, so he's like an amazing little guy. I miss him. I miss him dearly. Um, and, um, and probably last Christmas when we, when we and I opened our gifts together. <laughs> I mm -hmm. I enjoy the one I enjoy the times when we both get to open our gifts. Sadly, mm -hmm. we don't have our anniversary gifts yet. <laughs> yeah, that's the so nail for you. Kind of sucks. Yeah. yeah. Um, I think that's it. Your turn. Um. <clears throat> okay, for me, I'd say uh, pretty much any moment with Susan, because I can recall those a lot better than a lot of the other memories. Um. So, uh, yeah, I'd say that. There were a lot of good ones, too. So, Do you want to my some answer examples, that, or? Um, a lot of the examples were stuff that technically you brought up, Susan, so I don't know if I could provide much else. Um, oh, okay. Question number two. Least favorite memory? Um, that's kind of hard to think about, really. Okay. I know there have been some, but I just can't think of one off the top of my head. Uh, for me, my least favorite memory is, frankly, a lot of memories from high school. And anyone that's graduated, that's gotten into college or after that will probably agree. Because high school was an absolute bitch. Especially when, like, someone, especially at my school, when I was bullied, and other people were bullied, and the teachers did jack shit to stop it, saying, oh, we'll look into it. They never did. Okay, I think after what you said, it did. I do remember some things. Um, I was a victim of bullying a lot. Victim of bullying as well as Wade was. Um, there were a lot of times. I I think one of the worst memories I've dealt with from my bullying was getting a fake love letter. I kid you not. Somebody gave me a fake love letter from a guy who I was crushing on at the time, but I gave up on it. Um, um, probably. T couple were being in a car accident and nearly being hit by a truck, by a pickup truck. Yes, that did happen. I was not hurt, thank God. Um, and another one would have to be, well, the times when, the time when Wave had to leave me because of a forced fire evacuation. That night, I was worried sick about him because I had no idea what was happening to him. I couldn't call him. He couldn't call me. 
It wasn't until the next day when I heard from him, when I got home, and he was okay, I started to cry, because I was so worried about him. And times when we would go into, when he we was, like, literally crying, there were some occasions where it has happened. Mm-hmm. I just sometimes felt hopeless that I couldn't be there physically to help him, but I tried everything I could to get him, I can to get him to calm down and see what's wrong with him, because I care. Yeah. Um, I think that's it. Question number three. Any video game franchises you know a lot about but have never tried yourselves? Not really. I kind of know a lot about most of the series. Well, um, I know a lot about Pokemon and Bakugan and uh, Rune Factory 4, so not really much else. And for me, most franchises I've heard a lot about, I've played, so... Yeah. Alright. Question number four. Longest time spent doing nothing. I'm not really sure. I don't I don't really remember because if I would be doing nothing, it would probably like I I would usually be on the computer, so I rarely do nothing. I just send to the computer usually. The only time when I would do nothing is sleeping. Or taking a nap if I need one. Uh, for me, I'd say about <clears throat> 10 hours, and that would be for sleeping. That's about it. Okay, number five. Hot or cold weather? Um, I don't really like, I mean, hmm, I don't really like hot, I mean, I'd rather prefer weather in between, because I can't deal with the hot weather, because, um... My upstairs is usually the hottest room in the house when the AC's downstairs. And cold weather because, well, I don't like cold weather because you have to, because, well, it's cold. I don't like the cold usually. But I think I just like hot weather more than cold weather because of all, like, how hot it is and the bugs. Ugh, I hate bugs. <laughs> yeah. So I say cold weather. For me, I just say vote. Or both. Number six, do you have any crack chips or basically non canon chips? Like that kind of stuff. I think so. I, I think I have two. But they're both from Italia. Um, Japan X Canada and Japan X Liechtenstein. Because, well, Japan and Canada, because, well, they're both white nations. Some people do ship them, but it's not really canon with the show. And, um, well, then again, nothing in Italian is really canon with the series besides a lot of male shippings. <laughs> um, and Japan's Lexington's time because, well, they're both cute. I can see it working. I mean, I think Lexington's a little younger than Japan is. Ugh, awkward. Um, but Japan and next Canada is a definite for me. And now I'm not a Yaoi shipper, don't ask. <laughs> it's just common with Italia. <laughs> Well, that's what happens when you have a series consisting of mostly guys. It's like trying to ship people in free. I guess for me, then, um, I really only have two on the top of my head. And technically, this one isn't even canon, so I can say it. Grand Juvia from Fairy Tale, And in terms of real crack shippings, Kiyu and Tomoya from Clonod. Mainly because... Mainly for After Story after episode 16, because, yeah, I'm a little bit salty about that. In all seriousness, though, I'd say that... Because, well, hey, Nagis is dead, so why not? And the final question, number hey. seven. What is your dream jobs? I want to be a voice actress for anime. Because I want to work side by side with Vic Mignogna. And I want to be able to go to conventions and see many fans. And getting to voice act in something that's something as popular as anime, that's kind of a big deal. I mean, I'm not much of an actor in real life, like on the stage, but... Voices I can do okay with. I mean, if you've seen PWR where I voiced my doll caddy and a bunch of other voice characters, I'm decent with voice acting. Um, so I'm going to be a voice actress for anime. Well, for me, it'd be a career in computer engineering. Or if that doesn't pan out, then something like, well, I'm trying to remember the word, data entry, because, well, yeah, in all honesty for anybody, oh wait, for like the two people, that read this, uh, the Dave and Suki stories. Uh, David's job as a, well, data entry guy is what I'd consider a plan B, since, well, I 
I've done a lot of courses that involve spreadsheets and data entry jobs, especially since I took two courses in college last year. So, yeah, that. So, um, that concludes all the questions we have. So thank you all for sending in your questions. We really appreciate it. And we'll hope to see you soon. I'm the Mountie. And I'm Shiny. And we'll see you all later. Peace.